Prosecutor, the priest with his crucifix, the military cordon. Present arms, then silence, then the small click of the release catch that jolts the crowd like cannon fire. <sighs> <sighs> but imagine an execution in a dungeon like this. Would it be more picturesque, more theatrical? Absolutely not. The poor guillotine would be too hemmed in by these four walls. At least in the public arena, it had a certain sense of style. It is the dispenser of justice. But in here, it is nothing more than a machine. A nasty machine for cutting off heads. Don't you think that the condemned prefer the old method? Oh, undoubtedly. Oh, just think of it. To be executed behind closed doors, like getting a divorce. What they call in the theater a technical rehearsal. Just for the stage crew? Oh, that's terrible. I wouldn't wish such a death on my worst enemy. How about you? Well, nor would I. Wait a minute, though. There is someone I know whom I would take great pleasure Who's that? Your mother-in-law? Oh, you're not even one. Your wife, then? Not my wife, either. <clears throat> but someone rather close to her. How close? Too close. Her lover. She's cheating on you? Probably. Then take your revenge. <laughs> it's all I have to think about, but how? Well, if you have proof, divorce her. Well, I haven't any hard evidence. Anyway, I love my wife. She's a very beautiful woman. Well, then. <clears throat> Kill the fellow. Well, thank you, but there is the trial in prison. Oh, you'd be acquitted. Possibly, but that's all conjecture. I'd rather just wait for the right opportunity. One will come along sooner or later. But seeing as you know who your wife's lover is, you could just pick a fight and give him a good threshing. Who, my wife? Oh, no. Just her lover. Oh, no, no, it's just not practical. Why not? Why not? Well, for a start, he's bigger than me. He used to be a wrestler, now retired with a private fortune. I dare lay a finger on him. He sent me flying with a flick of a wrist, and then where would I be? <laughs> oh, well, I was just saying it's past the time. Oh, well, thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. Is the exhibit ready? Oh, yes, it's working beautifully. Watch. If you pull the lever on the right, the neck brace lifts up. And if you pull the lever on the left, then justice is done. Oh, the lever on the right for the neck brace, the lever on the left for the blade. Perfect. You know as much as the finest executioner. Now I must be off. I still have things to do. Right. I will stay here and wait for the signal. Good. Bye, then. The lever on the left for the neck brace, the lever on the right for the blade. One simple action, and there we are. One less person. <laughs> And to think, it's all ours. It's just right. <laughs> oh, that sounds like the moment of truth. Good. Is everything ready? Oh, has the electricity been fixed? Go on, then. Switch it on. Good. You can let them in now. Are you ready? The whole world is coming to see you. Honesté, Jayomé, and many others. Wow. 
I ain't right, man. You know Taurus murders whose name do you may know, such as Gilman, Anastasia, Carrara, and many others. We're beheaded by that they very guillotine. Great. <clears throat> I will now explain to you how this instrument works. The blade is raised and secured here in the neck brace, which closes automatically. To release the neck brace, simply press the lever on the left. To release the blade, simply press the lever on the right. The whole business takes between five and seven seconds. Just long enough for the condemned to repay his debt to society. Uh, have they understood? Oh, not a single word. Just give me a moment now. The murderer is seen is placed on his board and his head fits through the hole. And then he do press the lever, the knife done fell on the head, and the head done fell in the box full of And then the executioner takes a head by the hair, says, Look out, y'all! Say it's a real live murderer! <laughs> Drop back down in the box full of sand. Now that is all for the Gilly OP. <laughs> um, I will now show you how in the colonies the natives were persuaded to pay their taxes. That is to say, the impalement stake, the tooth extractor, and the gunpowder cartridge. Let us begin with the gunpowder cartridge. Excuse me. Uh, is this all right for young ladies? <laughs> uh, the gentleman is inquiring as to whether or not this will be suitable for uh, young ladies. Well, <laughs> that all depends on one's views on such matters. If I had a sister, I would ask for her to wait for me here. You are thinking of the gunpowder cartridge, of course, and where it was inserted. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, it is uh, quite impossible for young ladies. You give her a magazine and have her wait right here until we get back. All right. Here, Katie. You just sit and read, huh? <clears throat> this way, gentlemen, to the methods of persuasion. <laughs>
Rose with the surgeon supplies. Uh, Madame Palmier Lufthansa, my girlfriend. Charmed, I'm sure. We met quite by accident here at the museum. Have you come to see the latest attraction? Yes, certainly, Madame. Oh, here it is. The famous guillotine. Yes, here it is. Oh, but I'd imagined it to be somewhat larger. I think it's quite large enough. <laughs> How about going for a drink? Oh, no. We're having far too much fun here. She's planning something. Don't believe me. Don't worry about oh, this dungeon. This dismal machine with its menacing blade gleaming. What a perfect spot for making love. Oh, here we go. Oh, Monsieur Millet. The joy of exchanging caresses in strange and atmospheric corners. My friend, Monsieur Le Caron, I love that. Yes. She loves that. There's no accounting for taste. If you only knew of some of the delightful spots that have borne witness to our kisses. One day, we had a cozy cup of tea in the catacombs. Yes, we were surrounded by piles of bones. And another time, thanks to one of our friends who was a charge nurse at the hospital, we had a candlelit dinner for two on the dissection table of the operating theater. Charming! And then there was the time we had high tea in the furnace of the crematorium. No! Yes. Oh, not to mention our little get-togethers at the morgue. You are right there. Uh, well, none of those places is equal to this. Oh, this guillotine! Shuddering as it was once gripped by these murderers in their final moments. Doesn't it do anything for you? It tells me I should get out of here. Don't be such a baby. He can be so childish. Really not the mood. Look. We haven't come here to just whisper sweet nothings to each other. Look what in front of me. We'll get rid of him when the time comes. It's not all the other Just keep an ear open for the sound of footsteps. Now quickly, kiss me. Oh, no. Do you mind? Go right ahead. <gasps> oh, do you not find this dungeon rather sensual, Monsieur Millet? Good God, madam. I prefer something a little more comfortable. More comfortable? That's all very well for calm and a garden love making, but we prefer something different. Don't we, dear? Something just like this, in fact. Come! Make a love to me! Let's go in your bed. No! There, in front of the guillotine! I just remembered a little story about the guillotine. It happened just after the revolution. An aristocrat and his lover were arrested together at the border and were to be guillotined at the same time. When the young man who was to be executed first had his neck in the brakes, the young woman escaped the soldiers who were guarding her. And before the executioner had a chance to drop the blade, she kissed her lover on the lips. <laughs> All the judges were so impressed by this display of love, they granted her clemency. <laughs> Oh, oh yes. Oh, she became a famous courtesan and lived to a ripe old age. And just before she breathed her last, she told the nurse of all the kisses she had given and received throughout her wanton life. The most disturbing and the most fulfilling had been that one all those years ago when she tasted the lips of her lover as he was decapitated. Uh, so, there are some strange <laughs> perversions, that's for sure. Perversions? Come now, it appeals to the artist. Understand that, don't you, darling? Yes, I understand. Leave it, eh? Oh. <laughs> Everything is in place for a sensual experience. <laughs> you know what you have to do now, don't you? No. You must put yourself in the machine, put your neck through there, and then offer me your lips. No, 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 please. You're not refusing me. What do you expect to gain from all this? For a start, it would be a sham. I have my imagination. I shall imagine you are an aristocrat condemned to death. Mr. Millet will be the executioner. And you must try to believe the blade will actually fall. Oh, no, no. It's all too complicated. Don't refuse me or else! Can we go immediately after this? Oh, all right. Do you think I should give it? That would be my advice. Very well, but let's be quick about it. Just put my head through here. You're so sweet. Oh, look at this. How perfect an attachable collar. That's the last word. That's exactly it. Oh, my darling, yes. All the leather straps on your hands. Oh, my goodness. Oh, kiss me. Oh, look. Look. Don't touch it! And for the blade. And you really should have been listening. 
Perhaps if I press both at the same time. Stop messing about! Ah, I am fidget. You're pulling my leg. It's exciting. <laughs> Me pulling your leg. That's a good one. Suppose the blade comes crashing down. I shall catch your head. Oh, oh, man. I will never forget you. I will have had the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> this is what comes of reading stupid stories. Quick, go and fetch the cure drop. Just stay there a moment. Oh, if you only knew how beautiful you look right now. Doesn't he look beautiful right he now? He certainly doesn't look bad. Oh, yes. For God's sake, get a move on. <laughs> Aren't you going to fetch the cure now? <laughs> Very well. Help! Oh, stop it. Help! Oh, you're making so much fuss. Help! Help! Hey. You've got a little patience. That's your trouble. What's going on here? Over here, my good woman. Right. Will you have some nerve interfering with the exhibits? It was an accident. That's what they all say. I can explain the doubt. Look, love, I don't want any of your excuses. Right then, let's get you out of there. I can't. <laughs> the neck brace is locked. The neck brace? Oh. Well, then, let's take a look. You're right. Well, open it then. No, out of the question. What? You've made a right mess of things. The mechanism is completely buggered. What did you just say? Just one moment. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Look, <laughs> since you're a friend of the condemned, could you go upstairs and find the fellow who installed the exhibit? He's working on the Emperor of Russia who started to crack up. Mm, with pleasure. Come on, calm down. You are making so much fuss over nothing. I ought to report <laughs> you for this. Oh. Well, please Damn, do Damn, Maggie, let's but... continue onwards to the first floor. On the first floor, where we are going, you will now see all the politicians. Well, I see you uh, have an actor in. An actor? Oh, what a good idea. An actor? Mm -hmm. Tell them there's a supplement of ten sous to see the torment of the condemned man as he awaits the executioner who has forgotten his handkerchief. <laughs> now you're talking. <clears throat> I'll leave you, gentlemen. I have to down, please. <laughs> this. Is a new and most sensational sight. You see, this poor fella here is gonna be put <clears throat> today. <laughs> what is he talking about? Shut up! Let me finish. Uh, he is merely awaiting the executioner who has forgotten his handkerchief. <laughs> uh, a ten sous southern man. Uh, if, what is going on here? This is simply too much. Are they paying to see me humiliated like this? That curator is an utter rogue. <laughs> You idiots! <laughs> wait until I get out of oh, this! Look at him go! Yeah, you wait until I can handle it. This is simply too much! I'm going to complain to the police! I'm certain you have never seen a sight like this in Texas. Ahem, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, you have never seen a sight like this in all the world! Oh, that's quite me! Oh, oh yes! Oh, what are you pulling such a face for? You, Jordan, are I'm going to inform the authorities. Oh, you don't say! Well, it wasn't me who shoved you in there! You mustn't touch the exhibits! The rules expressly forbid it! <laughs> are you going to get me out of here at all? You'll just have to wait for the workman. Your friend can sort this all out. Let us proceed to the politicians! <laughs> No, that wasn't very polite of you. What? What wasn't polite? Be so bad-tempered and grumpy like that. I see. You think it's funny that I'm like this. Well, you couldn't say that it was boring. Just think, your neck is caught in the very brace that made Franzini and Carrera squeak. I must say I was actually thrilled by the fall. It's no wonder I get annoyed with you. Nothing excites you. You've got no imagination. No imagination? <sighs> Can you wipe my nose? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's not the first time I've noticed it either. Just the other day at the crematorium. That was a terrible burning smell. Oh, I'm beginning to think we're incompatible. Me too. Good evening, Monsieur. Madame, your friend is going to get my adjustable stand for the caretaker. Oh. What are you doing here? What about you? Well, they called me to do some adjustments. Oh, you know something about this sort of thing, then? Oh, well, a locksmith is only a type of mechanic, and I do know all about that. Oh, you're not, you're not the angry, then. Uh, you, you, you haven't told me your side, but you can tell me later. Oh, I had better be the victim. Oh, there's no hurry. Oh, 
you getting stuck in there? Good grief, look out on! I'm afraid so. Look out on, now I get it. You brought my wife to the museum. It isn't true. Of course it is, I know all about it. You are Omnia's lover. Hey, Miss, please! Oh, shut up. <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking? <laughs> I'll confess to everything, I swear. Well, I'm thinking that there is a god after all. Oh, yes. And in the name of God, there is one. And he is great and he is just. Why do you say that? Hmm. Why? Because he has delivered you completely helpless into my hands. What a fine gentleman you are. Physically fit and strong, every inch and next wrestler. You took my wife, the woman I loved, you here? Oh, Shut your trap! You took her from me and that's no laughing matter. I tell you, you'll be paid for it! An accident, a little clumsiness. Punishment for you, it's on a rejection for me! Oh, Nessie wouldn't do that! <laughs> 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 Who is there to stop me? Oh, Miss, I, I can't believe you do something like that. It's quite unlike you. I, I've got a little money on me. Perhaps we could come to some arrangement. Oh, the coward! He really must be frightened to be thinking of parting with his money. Oh, keep your money, Monsieur. What do you take me for? I'll say that next. Oh. I am not like you. I am a gentleman, monsieur. Do you not believe me? Swine! Bastard! I'm going to get you! Not much of a wrestler now, eh? Just wait until I get out of this! Oh, really? Very well, in that case you will die! No, 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 I'm sorry! Don't be so spineless! He thinks he's sorry and he says that that's enough, but my life is ruined! You've stolen the heart of my wife! Me? I never laid a finger on her heart. We were just fooling around a little together, that's all. Oh, whatever you say. I know she doesn't love me anymore. What makes you think that? Nothing. Yes. Listen! <laughs> I never really knew you, but certain things have happened that have made me realize I've always loved you. There you see! Yes! How it's true! I already realized Le Cardon was not the man I thought he was. Oh, Mir. Oh, you're really having me on. If I were to forgive you, this would all start again next week. I'm having you on? Watch this. Do you have my letters with you? Yes, they're in the inside pocket of my jacket, the right hand side. Oh, oh yes. Just oh. wait. Just you wait. Here they are. Oh, and now, proof of my infidelity. With these, you could drag me through the court. Take them, and if I am ever unfaithful to you again, you oh, have very proof. well. Uh, I must see these. Delicious little encounters you had together. Oh, yeah. Quite delicious. Oh, exactly delicious! Why couldn't I have made love to you in the crematorium? I never knew you were into that sort of thing. Oh, that, that's really something. <laughs> <laughs> I only know, and to think, he used to get annoyed by it. Annoyed? What a fine! I say, what? Oh, it's all been a misunderstanding. A terrible misunderstanding. In that case, kiss me and let's be done with it. Oh, pardon me!
where there's a bit of a joke there. You see, there's a safety catch. I didn't pay five good American dollars for no damn oh, safety catch. Oh, my darling. 